So welcome to this video. This video is about transferring African bees, um, Apis mellifera scutellata, from a catcher box into a beehive. You can see just smoking the bees, taking the lid off the catcher box, and then opening the wire mesh on the top. It was quite a strong colony of bees within the catcher box. They'd been there for some time um, on a nearby tree, um, so they were quite strong. Um, I'm just transferring the combs now in the same order that they were in the catcher box into the Kenya Top Bar Hive. You can see the top bars removed their space created. Um, this particular catcher box, it was just on a nearby tree um, and I moved directly into the hive and that's because it's there was no real other practical way to do it. I know in theory you're supposed to take them away a far distance um, to avoid flying bees going back to the original position. But in practice um, this is what I've always done and it's always worked fine. Perhaps, yes, you do lose some of the flying bees, they'll go back to the original site. But um, it, being practical about it, you're not going to be transferring very defensive African bees up and down. So as little handling as possible. You can start to see the bees now starting to become a little bit uh, defensive. Flying towards the camera, flying all around. Just pushing the, the combs back into position. Just um, removing now um, some brace comb that was in the hive. In theory, you could tie that to a top bar, but in practice, um, it, just, it wasn't a very good comb. If it was a comb of wood, they might have tied it to a top bar and placed it into the hive. Just making space now to brush in the rest of the bees. Again, your smoker is an essential tool when working with African bees. They are very defensive. And even for such a small colony, um, they were quite um, defensive to work with. Um, they were trying to sting me. And you can see at some point in the video where they're actually trying to sting the camera as well. So you need to be careful when, when handling these um, defensive bees that there's no people or livestock nearby. And in particular in terms of your apiary sighting, that you sight the apiary in a way that um, you can work comfortably and that people won't be stung or livestock won't be stung. So you can see me there putting back the top bars. Um, so the bees then can expand and build combs on those bars. Now just putting the lid back on the hive. And you can see in the background the sun going down. And that's because it's always a good idea to work defensive bees in Africa just before dark. That, in that way they'll have time to settle down overnight so the following day they won't be stinging people. Otherwise. So if you can work the bees just before dark you'll have enough light to work them and they'll still have a chance to settle down going into the dark. And if you work them during the day they'll be defensive the whole day. So for more information welcome to visit my site apconsult.com. Thank you.